everybody, welcome back to another weekly training vlog. Today is Monday the 24th of July, starting the week off with a rest week. Um, had my longer run yesterday that I did with my wife, um, wasn't feeling too great uh, physically, so rest day I think was a good idea today. Um, so yep, I had a late shift at work today, so the plan was to be able to sleep in a little bit and just get some nice uh, energy recovery back there. And like I said, working away today. Um, so not much else to report today, um, back on the running tomorrow. It is Tuesday evening, just wrapped up on work, about to head out for a lovely run. First run of the week, uh, very exciting as always. It is a tired run, according to my Garmin coach today, um, so that's what I'm going to go out and do. It's just wanting me to do um, just under 5k. Um, I feel like I have a bit more in me today, I didn't get to do as much running on the Sunday. Um, so I'm going to go out for a little bit longer than that, I'm not entirely sure um, how long. Just going to go out until it stops being fun essentially and then I'll pop back home. Um, but yep, should be a nice run, got a good route planned and like I said, I've got some escape roads built in there to shorten it um, as needed um, if I do require that. Um, but yeah, should be a lovely easy run, hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm back from the run, it ended up being a nice uh, longer one, um, but just over nine kilometres, so not long, but um, you know, a, a nice fair, fair distance, um, good start to the week. Um, yep, yeah, it was really nice. Um, nice relaxing run. Um, was Garmin Coach's tired run, which I usually just take them to be like a little bit more than an easy run. Because um, it does say best effort on tired legs. They're very vague in their descriptions. Um, but so the first bit was a little bit of a higher heart rate just because the first bit of the, the route's up a hill. Um, and also there's a lot of people around and I don't and I know this is bad but whenever I'm like running and other people can see me I feel too embarrassed to go really slowly um, even when I'm supposed to from an easy run so I do you know go faster than I should um, yeah I just need to learn not to care what other people think but yeah I do get embarrassed quite a lot when other people are watching me going really slowly so I speed it up but other than that um, it was it was really nice and there's a big downhill section in it which is why I picked it today I was just it's the route that uh, my wife and I did on Sunday, which I really enjoyed. I've not done it before, um, so that was enjoyable. So let's check out the stats. So here we go, 9.07 kilometres, 59 minutes, 41 seconds, average pace, 6 minutes, 35 seconds per kilometre. So I could have gone a little bit slower, but, you know, it is what it is. And see pace there, so yeah, like I said, um, even though it was uphill, I was still going faster um, because... Um, yeah, that was, that was the busy bit. The rest of it is relatively quiet, like not many people around, but that's quite uh, busy. So I got a bit embarrassed and um, went a bit faster than I should have. Heart rate, you see that marries up there as well. Heart rate zone, so it was a good, a nice split between um, the easy and the tempo zones there. Running power, running power zones, and that nice elevation graph there. So a good chunk of nice aerobic uh, training in there. and um, Nice to start the week off with, you know, a good chunk of mileage. Um, so we'll see where the rest of the week takes us, I suppose. Hello everybody, Wednesday evening, back to head out for an easy run now. Um, to be honest, not too motivated for this one. I was motivated earlier, but then I ended up getting held back at work. So I had to stay for like an extra 45 minutes and um, like, I don't know, like it was weird. Like as soon as my timing was thrown off for the rest of the evening and I don't really want to go on the run because it's having to start a lot later than um, it was supposed to. Um, but we're still going to go uh, get it done, um, tick up those miles, I suppose. Um, foot's feeling um, a little bit fatigued today, so I'm wearing uh, the, the Invincibles. Uh, you know, basically the, the big pillows that strap to your feet shoes. Um, so that should be good. Weather seems fine. Um, it's not been raining uh, for a few days now, so should be nice and dry. Um, we'll see how we get on. Back home from my run, I'm really, really glad I went on that one. And like I said, I wasn't feeling too motivated for it, but as soon as I went out there, it was lovely. I really enjoyed it. Um, had a nice peaceful time to just think to myself. My body felt really good, really enjoying it. Lots of cute animals around to look at as well. So yeah, um, one of the best runs I've been on, you know, in quite a while, actually. I really, really enjoyed that. It was just over eight kilometres, um, but let's look at the stats now. So here we have it, 8.22 kilometres in total, 1 hour and 57 seconds in total, average pace of 7 minutes 25 seconds per kilometre, so nice and slow. 
pace like that, as you can see. Uh, relatively consistent, um, but dips up and down um, just so I can try and keep my heart rate under control um, in the, the variations of elevation. We're not going to listen to the heart rate graph. Um, same thing I've brought up a couple of times. That it shows it's orange a lot more than it actually is because if we go down to heart rate zones, you can see the nice big chunk of that was in the green zone. There was a little bit in the orange zone. Like I said, um, some of the hills are quite steep. Running power, run power zones, elevation graph there. Training effect, that's base. That's the nice thing. That's what you want to see for your, your nice, slow, easy run. So that's good. And those are uh, my recovery hours and my current VO2 max, which is 47. So yeah, like I said, loved the run. Um, it was really good. Nice to get out and about. It was quite quiet as well on the road, so that wasn't too, bu too much of an issue. Had a nice playlist on. It was, yeah, just a general lovely evening run. Um, so yeah, that is Wednesday over on to Thursday. Hello everybody, it is Thursday. Um, it's just past eight o'clock, I've just finished work and as you can probably tell by the dorky looking helmet, I'm about to go out for a cycle. Um, it's a running rest day today, um, but my bike recently came back from getting a service and a change um, of the front brake rotor because it was squeaking. So I'm just going to go out for a nice little um, ride just to make sure that that issue has been fixed. Not entirely sure um, how long I'm going to go for, what sort of, you know, what sort of speed I'm going to go at. I'm just going to take it by, play it by ear and just see, see how it goes. So it should be good. Hi guys, uh, back from my cycle. Um, it was really nice. It did rain um, a bit, as you can see there. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. I think a lot of people that go on bikes try to avoid windy periods because they get blown about. Uh, my bike's too heavy to really worry about that. It's, it was, I do like my bike. I got it um, second hand um, just to go do a little bit of mountain biking. Um, you can see it in the background there. Um, so it's not meant for road anyway. Um, it was a budget bike when it was new and I bought it second hand. So, but it's nice. It's good. Um, really enjoyed my cycle. Just over 13 kilometres. Um, just sort of bopping about and um, going on some roads. And then at the end, towards the end, I did... Um, I stopped in like a car park and I was just practicing like my low speed like handling and practicing steering with like one hand so say if I was like take a water bottle up and things like that um, because I do have dyspraxia so my uh, coordination is not the best so I wanted to practice that um, just to make sure at the low speeds I can still corner and everything like that but it was a really nice uh, ride like I said it did rain a little bit but that didn't that didn't spoil the fun really enjoyed it so here is the data, so 13.13 kilometres, 44 minutes and 23 seconds, average speed of 17.7 kilometres per hour. But again, I mean, I did stop and do a lot of like slow speed stuff as well. So, you know, the average is a little bit different. So yeah, you can see speed changing it up just so, oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm recording my, in my garage and it's got like motion sensor lights. But here's the speed, as you can see, up and down, just depending on the hills and, you know, what what I was getting up to, like I said, I was doing some slow speed stuff as well. Heart rate there, elevation, heart rate zones there. So yeah, really nice ride. And uh, now that I've got the back, the bike sorted and um, the brakes are all working perfectly, um, I'm going to go and cycle a lot more. Um, I can feel myself wanting to buy a road bike, um, which is the problem that I get with everything. I try something and then I enjoy it, and then I immediately want to buy something for it. Um, but to be fair, it's for a good reason, because I do like the bike, but obviously it's a mountain bike, so like the gearing is set up for going up hills. So when I'm going at like flat or downhill, um, you know, I quickly lose like the faster gears. Um, but, you know, at the moment it works fine and I need you guys to try and help me not buy a new bike. So convince me down in the comments below that I should just stick it out with this bike for a bit. Who knows, I could even become a triathlete maybe unlikely but you never know i mean when i first started running i went on the treadmill for like 20 minutes and immediately i was convinced i could run a marathon so who knows maybe i will end up doing a triathlon one day hello everybody it is friday evening another work week done um just about to head out for a run this is one of the garmin coach cadence drill plans to be completely honest with you i I don't know why I keep getting these cadence drills now. Um, so what is supposed to be today is like just over six kilometers, I think, in total. First bit, uh, just normal. Uh, so is the last bit, but the bit in the middle, um, it's wanting me to have a cadence of between 
like 190 and hun and 200 um which i just think is i think it's a bit i just don't see the point i've already got like an average running cadence of over like 180 just around that bit and i've done some research myself um putting on the geek glasses doing some research and apparently like 180 is a is a perfectly good uh cadence and there's been some like research that have shown that delip like focusing on cadence a lot like deliberately during training isn't that beneficial so not really bothered to be honest i do not think i'll be able to maintain that between 190 and 200 it, like for the whole thing it was just last time i did it it was just it was really hard to keep up so if i can get in that zone for a little bit of it i'll be fine i won't be too worried about my watch beeping at me going eh do do a bit higher cadence you know what it is what it is i'll just try my best and we'll we'll see how that goes hello everybody so not done the run yet this is a part way through little update because i did the the warm-up and the cadence drills but um so that's done i'm just taking a wee break before i run home and do the cool down just to get my heart rate down um because that was quite hard work there um i know i said before i went out that i didn't think that the goal that it set me was actually really attainable because i based it on the last time i did it where i really struggled um i don't know if the last time you know my body was just a bit more beat down than i maybe thought it was but i managed to do it today um not only that i did warn me a few times that i was actually running with too high a cadence so got through that it's it's amazing how because obviously the goal of these drills is to gradually make your cadence get higher and higher but it's so much extra like effort when you're trying to do like do a step above what's normal for you so for me it was that 190 to 200 um because you're going the same speed but just having to move your like pick up your legs a lot quicker um is a lot of effort so yeah uh glad i did that bit um it's a lot of work though um so i'm just taking a little break just to get my heart rate down take maybe take a wee puff of the inhaler um and then i'll head out just while i'm waiting for my heart rate to go down i don't want to address something that i saw someone commented on uh, my last e uh, vlog that i did the training vlog um and they were just they were a bit concerned about my heart rate um yeah i do i know that my heart rate is a bit higher than usual when i'm doing activity part of that is because of the asthma um i have actually had heart issues in the past um, i'm quite prone to like murmurs and things like that so yeah my heart rate you know is probably higher than most people's would be um but I've, I've been to the hospital a lot of times to get like heart scans and things done so um i think the direct quote was it's not dangerous but yeah it could be better my heart um so i am cleared to do physical activity i've just got to keep an eye out on like heart pains and uh, things um when i am doing physical activity so i can do them but yeah so that is why my heart rate is a little bit higher than i think other people's could be at the speeds i'm doing just because i do have um yeah not the strongest heart um shall we say neither are my lungs so you know heart and lungs are both a bit shit um sorry for the language there but yeah so that'll be why but thank you for your concern but it is so it's managing it's getting managed at the moment back home now um did the run back obviously um so yeah it was a good run um hard work but um good i managed to to get get the goals which is good so it was um just over 6.7 kilometers in total the first one and a bit i can't quite remember exactly to be completely honest first one and a bit um just you know standard just warming up then i'm um, around three kilometers in that um the goal was 189 to 199 um steps per minute was the goal like i said we managed to get that um i'll pop up there just because it doesn't feature on the watch bit so it won't show up later on um but yeah i think um the average was 185 but then like the peak was like 204 so but obviously the bit either side of it will drag that down but it was in that optimal bit for for the actual cadence drills bit which is um nice so let's go over the stats oh here we go 6.73 kilometers total time 39 minutes and 17 seconds that's moving times like i said earlier i did stop just to have a little bit of a break before i did my run home and um, average pace five minutes 50 seconds per kilometer pace there as you can see yep so it did go down uh drastically just on my little little run back um heart rate again same sort of thing that is on an uphill at last little bit so it was lower down than when i was doing the drills but yeah um wasn't doing my warm up my sorry my run back home super easy it was just you know getting to run home i kind of just wanted to be done for the day to be honest 
um, heart rate zones, uh, running power, run power zones, elevation, training effect VO2 max, and you'll have already seen, but I'll put it up there again, just the cadence for this workout. So yeah, really productive run that one was. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm just going to go on a nice little bike ride because I've got my long run on Sunday. And also tomorrow I'm going into Edinburgh because it was my mum's birthday this week. So I'm going um, there just to celebrate with her and my sister. So that should be um, good fun. Um, obviously, I did mention the cadence isn't on like the stat rundowns that we do but that and a lot more training information is available to be seen on my Strava and um, so if you did want to go see any of that data for this run or any of the runs I've done in the past uh, the link down to my Strava is down below as is every vlog um, so yeah you can go check it out uh, follow me there and um, just if you do want some more in-depth stats in-depth stats hello gang it is saturday morning not about to head out for any exercise as you can see i'm in my civilian clothes at the moment and um, it's interesting day planned um up ahead like i said we're going into edinburgh uh, to spend time uh, with my mum and my sister because it was my mum's birthday um but before then uh, we are actually going to go a couple of places on the way down got first of all stop uh, for breakfast at tim hortons um, they've got like the best um, breakfast out of any of the fast food places in the UK, in my opinion. You know, once you get, once you have missed the point of you can get the breakfast menu, like their all day menu is a bit shit, the food. Um, but breakfast is really good. Then we're going to go to one of my favourite stores, uh, Decathlon. Um, they're worldwide, you probably have heard of them. They just make like sports stuff. Um, but like most of my running stuff, like 90% of it, I'd say, is from Decathlon. Um, and yeah it's really cheap um but it, it it works well so i'm gonna go there because i want to get some more soft flasks um and potentially some bike shorts and then yeah might go to taizos which is another it's an outdoor store i think it's just in scotland um but it's one of my another one of my favorite stores they've got a lot of cool stuff in there um so yeah uh yeah big day plan we are i'm gonna go for a cycle when we get back so we're gonna get back sort of you know early-ish evening I'm just going to go for an easy cycle there. I think my wife's going to join me for that one. So should be good. Hello, guys. It is Saturday morning. Going to make this one quick because I forgot to set an alarm last night. Slept in. I need to uh, basically haul ass around this run to be able to get back in time for um, Formula One race. Um, yesterday's plan changed a little bit. I ended up staying at my mother's house a little bit uh, later than expected. Um, and then by the time we drove back, like there was like torrential rain. Um, which delayed further journey time back. So by the time we got home, still raining really hard, but the gym um, was like closing in like half an hour. So fortunately you couldn't get a bike ride in, uh, not the end of the world because it was only going to be a light bike ride and it was supposed to be a rest day anyway, yesterday. Um, so not too bad. Uh, today I am doing my long run. It's supposed to be just over 16 kilometers. About to head out and do that now. And um, like I said, Gonna do it a little bit quicker than I think supposed to, just because I do want to get back in time. Um, you could be saying, "Oh, well, you could just wait and do it after the race." Yes, I could. However, um, I, you know, the later I leave it, the less likely I'm actually gonna do it. To be completely honest with you, I'm not feeling too good today. Um, didn't drink last night at all. Um, but yeah, we had Chinese for dinner, and I, I'm going out on a limb here and saying that Chinese takeaway probably isn't the best. Uh, you know, night before fuel for a long run. Who knows, I don't know if they've, they've done scientific testing on that. But yep, yeah, uh, back to head out. Uh, sun is shining, although the weather forecast is saying it should rain. Um, so we'll just see and hope we don't get caught out in that. Hi guys, uh, back from my run. Um, as you can see, a little bit sweaty there. Um, it was just over 16 kilometres, which I didn't actually realise until I like finished it and Garmin was like, well done, whatever. But this is actually the longest run I've ever done. Um, so... Yeah, good with that. Um, it was a really fun one. Like I said, I was under some time constraints. So I did sort of, you know, go a bit faster than usually I'd like to on the long run. Um, but it, it was super fun. Um, there's no like loops around here that are like 16 kilometers, like other than like out and backs and, and whatever, which, you know, gets a little bit boring sometimes. So what I ended up doing was I took like my favorite sections of like some shorter loops and just like put like put them all together to make it up and it was so fun because it was such like there was so much variety in it uh, first of all from the weather we're just in scotland so it's changeable i look at the weather forecast but it doesn't really matter so there was rain wind sun um but that was that was still uh, good but like the 
the terrain difference was so amazing like i didn't really know where i was actually gonna run i just kind of like let my 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 body like take me wherever so i decided to put on like my pumas because like the most versatile shoe i have they've got a good grip um for like everything uh, they're really comfortable blah 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 um so yeah the terrain was diff like different there was like obviously there was roads so there was like tarmac but then there was also i went off-road a lot of the bit so there was like trails like mud mud gravel loose rocks there was even like sand bits because i ran along uh, the river there was grass like mud just just sort of everything basically every terrain other than snow and um, i ran on today um which is really it was a lot of fun um elevation there was a lot of variety again there there was ups and downs both at like steep gradients and more gradual flat as well like it was just it was one of those runs that because it changed so much like it always just kept me like like i would I wouldn't get bored of anything because it was like changing but like, okay time to adapt to this and yeah it was just it was a lot a lot of fun um i really enjoyed that one and um, so yeah just over 16 kilometers but let's uh go into more of the stats so here it is 16.1 kilometers patrick says hi um it was one hour 33 minutes and 47 seconds average pace of five minutes 50 seconds per kilometer uh pace uh up and down yeah i didn't really have any pacing strategy not that i normally do but yeah i was just going by vibes today um heart rate uh heart rate zones there again i keep bringing this up I'm like a broken record that graph i don't know what goes on with the colors there because it's just never really accurate to be honest um yep um so yeah mainly that orange tempo zone there running power run power zones elevation you see like it was it was really quite fun like he had uphills there was that really steep down bit there uh, which actually was actually on loose gravel and yeah uh the pumas held up great um so i did do a full review of these and i was very favorable about them in that review but yeah no i love these shoes everybody go out and buy a pair of these shoes now um so yeah there was the elevation training effect uh threshold today but yeah no that was just a, an absolutely amazing um end to to the week it was just super fun um a lot of different variety um really enjoyed that and i made it back in plenty of time for the formula one because so like i said i did go you know faster than i would normally like to on those longer runs but my body felt good head felt good having a great time so i enjoyed that thoroughly I hope you guys um, had some fun runs uh, this week. Please let me know um, in the comments below. I mentioned earlier in the video, but my Strava link is down there if you wanted to go follow me and see uh, more stats in depth. I'm a bit of a stat nerd. You might be too. So if you want to go see more of the stats than is shown on my watch, check out my Strava. Um, yeah, more stats there. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.